Rome, end of the 15th century. The Italian artists of the Renaissance attempt to recover the artistic and scientific splendor that had been achieved in Greek and Roman antiquity. By chance, the wall paintings of the Domus Aurea, the palace of the Emperor Nero, are discovered. Artists like Raphael and Michelangelo are amazed by the quality of the material and the painting techniques with which the Roman paintings are made. It is the beginning of a long and frustrating search for the composition of the material by painters and scientists. Madrid, 1962. Five centuries later, the painter José Cuní, with extensive training and experience in fresco, achieves what Leonardo da Vinci could not. The rediscovery of the formula of the paint used in classical antiquity. After years of research, he develops the formula for a beeswax paint that is water-soluble. It is a formula that allows for the faithful reproduction of the technical characteristics of the wall paintings of ancient Greece and Rome. Rediscovery of water-soluble encaustic. When Renaissance painters observed the wall paintings of classical Rome, they were fascinated by the brilliance of the color, the stability of the thick brush strokes, and the adaptability that made this unknown material possible. Driven by the possibility of using this painting technique, the painters searched for information in ancient texts, especially in the writing of Pliny the Elder in the first century AD. Those texts indicated that Greek and Roman artists used a beeswax paint which they called encaustic, or simply wax, that could be used on any type of support. However, the ancient texts did not indicate the exact composition of this wax paint. It seemed to be technically impossible for the Roman wall paintings to be executed with hot wax, since such paint solidifies in only a few seconds and does not allow for painting on large surfaces using long and diluted brush strokes, as can be seen in these paintings. In spite of various attempts, the Renaissance artists were not able to come up with a wax formula that could be applied cold. Not even Leonardo da Vinci, who attempted to reproduce the Roman technique in order to use it in his mural of the Battle of Anghiari, his most important painting commission. The encaustic formula he developed did not work and Leonardo was unable to finish the work. Driven by the discoveries of Pompeii and Herculaneum, experiments to reconstruct the composition of the encaustic reached a peak after the second half of the 18th century. Research on cold encaustic produced disappointing formulas, and this favored the theory that the Roman encaustics had to be warm paints, and that the Roman wall paintings could not have been painted with encaustic, but rather with fresco. This was so in spite of strong arguments against this theory, such as the absence of the combined characteristics of fresco wall paintings, 
or the presence of pigments that degrade on contact with lime. In the middle of the 20th century, the solution to the enigma of the ancient encaustic was beginning to come together in Madrid. José Cuní, then a student in the School of Fine Arts in Madrid, began to take interest in the encaustic technique through his teacher, Ramón Stoltz, professor of painting techniques and wall paintings. The two collaborated for years on research on this subject, and Cuní became fascinated by the quality of wax as a painting material. In 1961, he traveled to Naples to continue with his research. There, he carefully studied the wall paintings of Pompeii, Herculaneum, and Stabiae. He researched ancient Neapolitan stuccos and examined the results with Salem Magusti, a prestigious chemist who had identified beeswax and soap in his analysis of Pompeii paintings, despite the fact that its formula was unmanageable in practice. After his stay in Naples, he was left without a doubt about his theory. The Roman wall paintings had not been painted with fresco, but rather with a water-soluble encaustic. Upon his return to Madrid, José Cuní kept experimenting with the material. He continued to improve the composition of the paint and its ability to be applied in artistic works. Finally, in 1962, Cuní developed a formula based on beeswax and emulsifiers with extraordinary quality and plastic possibilities, which allowed the execution features that characterize Roman wall painting to be reproduced. Cuny was convinced he had found the painting technique used in ancient Rome. But when José Cuny presented his discovery to the scientific community, it was met with only indifference in some cases and incredulity in others. Disappointed in such a lack of interest, he ended up abandoning any attempt to spread the discovery and focused on his artistic career. In the 1990s, Jorge, an architect, and Pedro, a painter, children of José Cuní, took up their father's project. They set out to confirm or rule out Cuní's theory through scientific research. In order to do so, they launched a chemical study of samples from Roman wall paintings at two research centers in the United States. Both studies indicated that the Roman paintings analyzed had been created using paint based on emulsified beeswax that had a composition identical to the one developed by José Cuní in 1962. Meanwhile, at the age of 89, more than four decades after his rediscovery of water-soluble encaustic, José Cuní continues to fulfill the dream that drove his research. To paint with a material that offered countless creative possibilities and that contains all of the insight of ancient Greece and Rome.